It's the new season on Sunday morning. And here again is Jane Pauley. Once in a Lifetime was a big hit for the Talking Heads back in the 80s. All these years later, they're reuniting to celebrate a shining moment. They're talking with CBS Morning's Tony DeCopel. In 1983, a band whose cerebral lyrics and funky melodies helped define an era, performed in LA before a packed house and some cameras. The film that followed, called Stop Making Sense, captured talking heads in all their kinetic glory and through the eye of a talented young director named Jonathan Demme, recorded what would become the band's final tour, an experience the late Roger Ebert called life lived as a joyous high. And then 40 years later, the critic of the New York Times called it nutty jubilation. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like both are right, you know? What's it like? witnessing yourselves once again. Weren't we pretty? <laughs> <laughs> what was that phrase? Nutty delicious? L nutty, <laughs> nutty, jubilation. Oh, nutty, nutty jubilation. Nutty jubilation, yes. When I first saw this uh, screening recently, which had been probably a couple of decades, and I saw myself and I, but who is that guy? You may ask yourself, well, how did I get this? Then in the days 40 years after that initial release, you may find yourself in a large theater because this classic concert film has been restored, remastered, and once again shown on the big screen. Same as it ever was. I mean, let's face it, man, this movie is hot. <laughs> For Chris France, I, uh, Tina Weymouth, Jerry Harrison, and David Byrne, the re-release is a chance to get reacquainted. It's the old neighborhood. After decades of estrangement, and also revisit a moment of shared success. What is the story being told in Stop Making Sense? It's the story of love. <laughs> it really is. Can't sleep. It starts with one person, an individual, alone in this world, and then a community builds around it. The arc of the film mirrors the arc of the band itself. There's Byrne, and then his two married college friends, Weymouth and France. I heard stories from Chris, oh yeah, that's, that's Mad Dave, you know? He, <laughs> he would do things, you know, performance art where he'd shave off half his beard vertically. The three met as students at the Rhode Island School of Design, where Mad Dave and France had already formed a band. A cover band called The Artistics. We both really enjoyed it. I could see that David had a gift as a front person. The name of this band is Talking Heads, and the name of this song is Psycho Killer. They moved to New York. And I thought, boy, oh, these guys are unique. Uh, 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 Jerry Harrison uh, made the band a foursome. Uh, run, 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 run I bought into totally what they were doing, and I just wanted to be the best partner in making that go forward. They spent the years that followed building an audience on MTV and perfecting their sound. By the time we got to stop making sense with the expanded lineup, we were really tearing the roof off. And doing a lot of running. The music uh, that we were doing had a great groove, and it just made me want to dance. Where are you coming up with this? The music usually inspires it, but it was improvised, uh, like in my loft. I have a little video camera or whatever, and 
put on the music and see what I came up with. And I'd go, that, that one, that really works. Let me try that. And let me try it in this song. This is an impossible question, but I'll, I'll ask it anyway. How do you know it works? That's a really good question. All I can assume is that there's something intuitive that says that music uh, and that movement belong together. Let's get the message. And somehow, together, they say something greater than either of them apart. What is that relationship that people are seeing on stage? We are obviously having a great time. We were a locked band. Call it peak talking heads, but it wouldn't last. I think a mystery at the center of Stop Making Sense. It's such a great tour. Why is it the last tour? Well, that is a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> Talking Heads had always taken breaks for side projects, most notably Chris France and Tina Weymouth's band Tom Tom Club. But within a few years of the film, the band went on a break that never really ended. And in 1991, Byrne told the LA Times, you could say we've broken up, or call it whatever you like. Yeah, we found out from a newspaper. Yeah, L.A. Times called us. It was a fact checker. And they wanted, they, wanted a, um, they wanted a comment. They wanted the relationship like, suffered yeah, from there. Sure, At one point, I, you called, I think, David Byrne a vampire. That's you, what they say. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? No. Um, I might have been in a bad mood. Here's your ticket, pack your bags. And while the band did perform one last time in 2002 when they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'd like to thank the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for, for giving this band a happy ending. They had not appeared in public until the premiere of this restored concert film brought them together. It's natural to feel pride in the legacy and joy and the memories. But inevitably, you also ask yourself the question, would I do anything differently? Would you do anything differently, David? I think I could have been a, a, a probably a more easygoing collaborator. But at the same time, uh, that was kind of the way we were, the way I was. And so it's, it's not like, oh, I wish I could have changed that. I, I think that's just the way we were then. And, it kind of had to happen that way. Do you feel like over the years you guys, in one way or another, hurt each other? Families do that. They don't just, you know, bite each other. They take chunks out. But the beauty of it is, well, maybe you don't forget, but you forgive. We're celebrating Stop Making Sense, but also the music that we made together, which is always going to be greater than any of us individually. It, it is something for us to be proud of. And uh, I think we all agree on that. <laughs> <laughs>